YouTube, it's Chris. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing fantastic. In this video, we're going to talk about Modern Warfare 2. This is a real short optimization guide for you guys. Now, the beta is out and there's no consistent test range or map I can actually go to to test things properly. But I wanted to get a video out to help you guys out a little bit anyway. So guys, I actually have two identical test rigs here. Okay, my streaming PC and my gaming PC have the same case fans cooler cpu ram basically everything other than gpu one pc has a 6900 xt which is my gaming pc and the other pc has a 3090 both are overclocked okay now the cpu is a 5800x 3d okay and i have a 3200 c14 just 14 14 14 34 on both pcs Okay, no custom tune or anything like that. You can tune your RAM to get more, blah, 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 blah. And believe it or not, weirdly enough, I'm getting the same frames on the 6900 XT just as the 3090. Now, it wasn't a very good test. I can't test this properly. I'll be bringing out another proper more advanced video where I'll test frames, 1%, 0.1s, and actual throughput latency for each individual graphic setting, as well as quality and for visibility. But I can't do that until the actual game's released and I've got a more consistent test environment um, to test with because at the moment it was hard enough to just get into the same map, into the same area on both systems. Now that's not to say that I've been doing some optimizing and getting this game to run better and I want to help you guys out with that. Now I'm going to say one of some of the most important things, okay, and what I found with this game is it is very CPU and memory heavy, okay, and that tells me because both cards were pretty much giving me the same frames, the same CPU, same RAM config. Okay, so you guys probably don't want to hear this, but you really need to look at overclocking your CPU if you want to get more out of the system. You really need to look at overclocking your memory if you want to get more out of the system, overclocking your GPU if you get more out of the system. I also recommend following my Windows 10 fast tracked video, okay, that kind of speeds a lot of stuff up with all the boring Windows stuff. There's a couple little things that make a difference that'll help. But just to let you guys know, I have a playlist, okay? And if you go to Fast Track, okay, I'd recommend following the Windows 10 Fast Track. I still recommend Windows 10, okay? And I also have a free the optimization pack, which I'd recommend following the Fast Track video. Ignore the first three. And then if you wanted to get into graphics card overclocking, CPU overclocking, or memory overclocking, this is all covered here, okay? So memory is covered here, regardless of, it's actually covered in both. Okay, that's what I recommend following. Now, system requirements for the beta. All right, it's quite interesting. Get on the latest NVIDIA driver. This driver actually isn't in the recommended, which is interesting, but just get on the latest one. No issues with that, okay? And get on the latest AMD. I have had no issues if things have been running fine. Now, hear me out. There's an issue with the AMD driver. If you have VSync on in game, I know a lot of gamers won't want to have VSync on, but technically speaking, you have, can have VSync and G-Sync together as long as you cap onto your refresh rate of your monitor, you won't get the input lag. You can't do that here with the AMD card, okay? With NVIDIA, it was fine. All right, now hear me out. Play like Warzone, Caldera, Modern Warfare 2019, Vanguard. Uh, this latest AMD driver here doesn't run so well, okay? But you kind of want to be on it for the beta, believe me, okay? It doesn't run as good if you're not on this one, the AMD, okay? That's pretty straightforward. I feel like I don't need to cover everything else as far as that's involved. Now, before I get on topic, and I'm going to show you guys. So what I've done is I could just quickly test things, quickly gone in and gone, made a custom config and figured out all the game settings and got things really uh, the right settings, um, everything completely low. Um, max kind of frames type of thing. So that's what I'm gonna be helping out with you guys here. Now, um, before I get on topic with that, I just want to ask, okay, if you go to the channels on my um, my YouTube uh, channel, you go my main channel here, go to channels, I have a gaming channel here. Guys, help me out. I wanna need a couple of, I need some more subs here, guys. I'm gonna start putting more effort into this channel as far as gameplay and uh, kind of separate gaming optimization sort of stuff that's not full optimization PC related, more like gaming branch stuff. So if you're interested in a movement guide, okay, I have a really good movement guide here, even though it was done on console, nothing has changed, okay? Even though we're on PC, it's the same movement mechanics. So if you'd like to learn a bit more about the movement or get the movement down pat in the game, please go give me a sub on this channel, check out this video. I'll be posting more like reviews on the game, talking about the game 
and posting gameplay videos and nukes and stuff like that. So what I generally do. But anyway, let's get back to it. Okay, so in the description of this video, I'm going to send, a, there'll, be a, there'll be a download file, okay? And it will be in my Google Drive in the game configs folder, okay? And you'll be able to download all of this, okay? So what I've done is a lot of the config folder is, okay, sort of encrypted. But it doesn't really matter because it kind of works how it did with 2019. So it'll read off the base options. And then you'll have a different number here depending on your user ID. And these will be like your settings. Now, all of these don't matter. All I care about is the options file. So in that little download file that you guys are going to download, which will be called Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2 config, you can follow along with the photos and you can also replace this options folder, okay, into your documents, Modern Warfare so documents, Call of Duty, plays beta. So you could replace this one with this one, okay? Once you've done that though, please go to properties, uncheck read only, okay? Then edit this with a notepad or anything, right? I'm gonna use notepad plus plus, but you guys could probably open with like a text notepad if you wanted to. I'll just do it to make it easier for you guys. All right, I want you to find render work account i've tested this too okay in modern warfare 2019 and warzone it was a weird you wanted to set this to half your cores okay so you go to the task manager real quick all right you can press Control shift escape go to cpu okay and the cores are here not the threads the cores in modern warfare 2019 and warzone you would want to set this to half your cores okay in black ops and vanguard it was completely different we want to set it to the max threads. Anything under wasn't a great idea. Okay. So this came default at a seven. The game didn't run as good. Okay. Tested a couple of different values. Like off stream, offline. Very, very tired. So I'm sorry this video is all over the place, but I wanted to get it out. So for you guys, look for logical processes, which is going to be right here. I want you to put that number in here. I want you to save it. Okay. Once you've saved it, I want you to right click and go read only. Okay, now the way this config works, right? Gone ahead and turned everything down low. Now, originally, when I play Modern Warfare 2019, I've spent a lot of hours in that game, guys. The past six months, I've been playing it every night for like four hours. I'm not even joking. I've had to crank up texture settings. Um, you know, I've had to add sharpening, all sorts of stuff like that. With this game, you can run everything absolutely low and it still looks fine. Now in the menu, it's going to look a little bit buggy and like, um, you know, cities from the distance of the map are going to look a little bit buggy. But as far as like visibility and pure throughput latency and FPS, this is going to be really nice. Some of you guys might want to crank up the settings um, and I get that if you want the game to look nicer. This probably isn't for you, but if it is, you're going to have to uncheck this from read only, go into the game menu and crank some things up. But I've tweaked this thing to the max all the way down the max frames and I've used this config on both cards, the AMD card and the Nvidia card, and I was able to transfer it over and it worked beautifully, everything saved. Okay, now you might need to change some things as far as the monitor and refresh rate. You guys might have to figure that out. You might have to copy paste from your config or you might not have any issues. It might still load these. So you're gonna have to figure that out for yourself. Like I said, this isn't an in-depth video. I'm going to be doing an in-depth video much later when I can actually test these individual settings and find out what really matters and what doesn't and what might help with visibility. But I'm going to be honest with you, everything cranked all the way down here. It's great. The game is clear as hell, way better than like even just normal low in the game. Um, and like the gunplay feels like way cleaner, way better. Um, everything's a lot clearer. The only thing that I will say like with this config is like when there's a smoke and stuff, it's kind of a little bit blocky, but that doesn't really bother me and it shouldn't really bother most of you guys. So another thing that I'll mention is um, for you guys that have the weaker graphics cards, please try using like AMD super resolution or try using DLSS if you can on your card. If you can't use those, and I'll just quickly scroll through the menu here. Okay, I'll go to the graphics settings. Got a couple of things you can try if you've got a weaker GPU um, graphics card and you want to make it more CPU and memory bound. If you if you do this and you, you improve frames, it means that you need a stronger graphics card. So you could either like overclock the card a little bit or like look at upgrading later. You could try bumping down the render resolution instead of actually changing resolution. The game is going to look quite blurry. I'm going to recommend Fidelity CAS for you guys and probably want to crank that all the way up. Now I'm using that in my AMD settings as well. 
So that's why I've only got it at 20 feet. If you guys are going to want this at 100, okay, to make the game a lot clearer. But for the guys of you that have a slightly weaker card, try bumping down the render resolution. If that looks horrible, like I said, you could try AMD um, FSR or you could try DLSS. But some of you guys, that card won't support that. And if it doesn't, that's okay. And if you don't like lowering the render resolution, you could try. Um, it's in here somewhere. You guys could try dynamic resolution okay and you turn it on crank it to the max and then see what your frames are and you can crank it down until it doesn't it, until it affects your frames find out when it affects your frames and then just bump it up just a little bit over that okay it's going to do a similar thing to dlss or fsr um and it's going to look probably better than lowering your resolution it's going to do the same sort of thing it's going to kind of render the game at a lower resolution and try to upscale it with a bit of an algorithm couple of options for you guys here if you have slightly weaker G gpus but i can't stress enough like from what i've seen from this game the game really really likes like decent ram speeds and decent timings and a decent cpu or at least a decent cpu overclock because when i was on stream guys what i actually found was there's a lot of people coming in and complaining about fps and there's a lot of people coming saying oh the fps is okay but it's not that great and they told me their specs there were guys that had really strong GPUs, like a 3080 Ti, and they're only getting like 120 FPS, okay, with a sort of like weak CPU, like a 9700K with like 3200 megahertz of RAM. And then like like my mate who has like a 3070, but like a stronger CPU um, and like a really good RAM overclock, like slightly newer CPU, I believe it was like 10900K with some tuned RAM, tuned RAM, who's getting like 180. So it just goes to show it's not entirely GPU bound. Now this was in 1080p resolution, mind you, just to let you guys know. But anyway, that's pretty much all we wanted to cover. Also, I wanted to mention that if you have an AMD card, um, it's nice to have kind of both sharpening happening just because of the, the force anti-aliasing in the game. I wish the developers wouldn't force anti-aliasing. Guys, this, this game needs a lot of work and there's really no point me testing it more in depth right now, especially because I'm so limited with uh, the game just puts me in a random map. But if you guys have an AMD card, crank up the sharpening here. It's going to help as well as in game AMD has essentially doubling it but it actually doesn't affect frames at all now for the guys that view that are on nvidia there's a way to get the old sharpening back and i've covered this in an old video i'll include this registry file so you can get the old sharpening back because it lets you use the old sharpening with uh um display scaling and it doesn't affect frames that much the max i saw it affect my frames in modern warfare 2019 multi was about five in this game i didn't really notice a difference with the 3090 at all so it's, it's worth a trade-off Basically, you go run it, and then you're gonna have a different option in the um, in the NVIDIA control panel. I'll show you guys. So once you've ran it, the registry file, you better go to the NVIDIA control panel. This is on my streaming PC, okay? And then you better go to manage 3D settings, program settings, add, okay, browse, and then you'll have to find the Call of Duty beta. Or it'll be Call of Duty beta and then cod.exe, okay? And then You'll have a different setting here, which is image chopping, which is like the old setting. And you could turn that on. I recommend the probably default setting, but you could play around with it a little bit. Um, there's another way to get this setting back, but it's going to uh, use GPU scaling. Um, you'd have to change adjust desktop size and position to integer scaling, and then you get that setting, but I'd really recommend using registry key instead. And you guys probably won't like this one if you've already opened the game. It's going to bug out. You're going to have to install an older driver. Um, with You have to use DDU to wipe your driver. Okay. Install an older driver. Boot the game. Let the shaders load. Then quit the game. Right. Install the newer driver. Then apply the fix on the newer driver before you open the game. That's the best way to do it. And why go to all this effort? It's because your only really other options are NVIDIA filters. And NVIDIA filters do tank FPS quite a lot. You don't really want that so this is a nice alternative so if you don't get enough sharpening in the game from the amd cas you could use this as well so if i was on if i was maining my 3090 right now now i, I wasn't sure if i should main my 3090 or my 6900 xt but because i'm getting the same frames and it feels exactly the same i'm just going to stick with the 6900 xt for now i'll wait until the actual game comes out properly and it's properly optimized with proper drivers then i'll decide what card i'll stick with but in saying that you guys might want to add a little bit of sharpening and I really don't recommend using NVIDIA filters. You'll lose frames. It's 
probably more I wanted to say in this video, but um, I've kind of covered the main things and I'm sorry they're really, really rushed and you guys are going to have to kind of look at other videos and other things to do these things, okay? I haven't made it easy for you, but I will be doing that in a future video like I've said three times already, okay? So guys, I have our optimization service over on Twitter if you are interested. Links are also in the description down below. If you're interested in me in tuning your, your CPU, your RAM, your graphics card, optimizing your Windows for you, I do offer a service for that and it helps support me and do this as a full-time job. Guys, I'm streaming this game every night at the moment. Quite a lot. Come say hi on Twitch. I'd appreciate it. Come maybe throw me a, 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 you know, a prime sub. Help me out. It doesn't cost you anything. I'd appreciate that. Hope you found this video helpful. I look forward to doing the more in-depth um, video. I hated to bring out a rushed video, but I've seen a couple of other guides out there that are kind of really kind of half-assed. And I wanted to at least give you guys something to get you going to maybe get a few more frames with your current rig because there's a lot of kind of placebo stuff out there. And I've covered the things that actually really matter here just to let you guys know. So, see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much. And go check out the gaming channel. Please go give me some subs over there. Come say hi on Twitch. Please.